Yes, I know. I did this to myself. All right, it's the last bite of sugar. To be honest, I'm probably gonna have a lint afterwards, but this is... Also? <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to the sugar. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I have a massive sweet tooth, and I developed a bad habit of eating way too much sugar throughout the day. It often caused my energy levels and general mood to yo-yo from bouncing around like happy bunny to being, well, easily irritable, to put it lightly. Okay, a little dramatic, but after noticing the negative effects of sugar on my body, I've decided to take a 30-day detox from it to see if it has a positive impact on my general well-being. So the main physical improvements I'm hoping to see will be one, on my skin, just getting rid of these breakouts, and two, that my energy levels throughout the day become more constant. So this is actually day one of my sugar detox and I know that refined sugar is in so much food like bread, tomato sauce, pretty much most processed foods. So other than having to avoid my chocolates and other sweets, I'm also gonna have to try and get into the habit of checking the labels on seemingly sugar-free foods. Like, did you know that hummus has sugar? You also can't listen to watermelon sugar high anymore. Okay, no, you can't take Harry Styles away from me. What does Harry Styles have that I don't have? Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. The way that you look at me, it makes me overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, it's currently day 30 of my sugar detox. I wanted to just jump straight into my thoughts on the process as well as the results that I got. So the first week was hard. It was like my brain went into shock and confusion over me deciding to go against my sugar cravings seriously unleashed a raving toddler inside my mind. But I really started to notice how these cravings were just bad habits I had developed. Feeling the need to make a coffee and grab a cookie after lunch for an afternoon pick-me-up, or grabbing a lint from the living room chocolate bowl in the evenings, sometimes even randomly during the day because I would see it whilst walking to the home office or bathroom. I literally found my body moving in autopilot, these two hotspots. It was ridiculous. Oh, and Fridays were the worst. These are normally the days that I have my cheat meals, so I go full on on my sweets and not having that made me hangry. Like genuinely sad that I couldn't have my cheat meals. Anyways, when things got really tough, that's when I resorted to my emergency folder. Girl, if you are thinking of caving in, let me remind you of why we're doing this. Number one, you are tired of being at the mercy of your sugar crashes, your mood swings, and your brain fog. Two, constant breakouts, girl. It just ain't it. Three, sugar is more aging than the sun. Girl, wrinkles. Five, you are not immune to heart disease or diabetes. Think of your family, girl. And six, last but not least, sugar is detrimental to your memory. Girl, our memory is bad enough. Get it together. Don't eat the sugar. After the first week, things started to get much better. Constantly reminding myself of why I was doing this helped me realize I genuinely wanted to do this to feel better. I knew to my core that I couldn't sustain the lifestyle I'm living and be happy in the day-to-day -day without fixing my energy levels. Alrighty guys, so it is day 10 and today is the first day that I've felt really focused and energized throughout the day despite looking more tired, not sure what that's about. I only crave sugar once which is amazing for me, even when I was tempted by a freshly baked pie which stay ate by the way. Honestly, the biggest mental change I noticed going into the second week was that I stopped trying to trick myself into giving in. I used to have this mental voice that would say things like, nobody's gonna see if you cheat. But yeah, honestly, I also found so many alternatives for sweet treats in the day, which really helped. For example, whenever I felt like I really needed an insulin boost in the first two weeks, I grabbed an orange, handful of nuts, or on Fridays, I even made myself an unsweetened hot chocolate using cacao powder and our magic mushroom superfood powder did the trick beautifully. From week three, I really wasn't craving sugar anymore. And I also noticed that's when my energy levels were starting to become much more consistent throughout the day. I'd find myself with bursts of positive, creative energy that seemingly appeared from nowhere. 
The best part? I wasn't afraid of the usual crash hijacking my mood afterwards. It was mind-blowing. Okay, now one downside. I started to notice that I was eating much larger portions at lunch and dinner because I thought, why not? If I'm not gonna have dessert, I better fill up now so I'm not hungry later. I feel like that would be fine normally, but I was eating a lot more carbs and dairy than usual during this period, so hello, pimple. Anyways, what now that I've finished my sugar detox? Well, I can honestly say this is the best I've felt in months. I feel proud of myself and I also feel confident that I'm not gonna slip back into becoming that raging sugar addict. It feels crazy to say, but I've actually stopped craving Nutella and I find myself feeling slightly repulsed walking past the candy aisle now. That being said, my plan is not to cut out added sugar indefinitely. I don't want to be going back to having a chocolate every day, but I do want to start having my afternoon ginseng coffee as well as my Friday night free-for-all. I also don't want to deprive myself of having a dessert whenever we go out for dinner with friends, whenever that will start happening again. But yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to continue trying to make these homemade sweets with sugar alternatives because I feel like it exercises a creative muscle in my brain that I don't normally use and I really like that. I guess that's it. If you guys are considering doing a sugar detox, I would highly recommend it. But before doing it, I would say to really think about why you do it. Do you truly want it? And that's it. We'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, dare to be happy.